Hey, what's up, man? It's me, K Camp, aka Floating. Right now, you tuned in to Ball Alert. Stay tuned. Pop your shit, float. Chosen one. I'm surprised it took you this long to know this one. Shout out to my dogs that stay down. You know I owe you one. My dog will fast. Yeah, I can't wait to pull up on your fine ass. What's up, guys? It's Angie B, and you are tuned into a baller talk with our guy K Cam. Y'all know him. Y'all know we get crazy. Yeah. How you feeling? Talk to us. I'm feeling good. Uh, blessed on this. Is it Friday? Mm -hmm. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> it's been a long week, but we about to get into yeah. it. Yeah. New album, man. Float to London. Mm -hmm. Your fans go crazy for you. They do. They do. Like, I love them. I love um, I love so it. let's dive into your musical journey, tracing from ICU in 2010 to the recent album, Float to London. How do you feel like you've evolved musically? Um, I evolved a lot, uh, especially when I, um, when I had uh, my vocal surgery uh, the end of last year, you know what I'm saying? Because I really didn't know how it was going to go for real. Right. So, you know, I've been in my producer bag, just making beats and just, you know what I'm saying? I had a plan B just in case it went left. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I was going to just make beats, you know what I'm saying? Get these songs off the hard drive, writing mm -hmm. folks, you know what I'm saying? That type of vibe. But as far as just like evolving musically, like certain sounds don't register with me no more. Like, how can I explain it? Like, mediocre shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, shit got to be like put together a way, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because I'm always trying to experiment stuff and just put like, just different worlds and just, I don't know, when it comes to music, I really I really get into it. So like, I don't know, I, I say that. Every artist grow in that type of yeah. aspect when it's just kind of making music. The, the more you spend time with it, you want to just make it bigger, bigger and better. So I say that. Okay, now we talked about you getting nicer. Yeah. You know, so how do you feel yeah. like <laughs> you've evolved personally? Um, it's all about just self growth, knowing myself, you know what I'm saying, understanding what uh my flaws are, mm -hmm. uh, understanding what, what pissed me off, what made me happy, what, <laughs> what keep me vibed out, what keep me balanced, mm -hmm. and just um treating people a little better. I, I ain't never said I treated people wrong, I always show love, like from the jump, I always show love, but I'm high and cold. If I don't want to be, get fucked with, I'm a you don't <laughs> see it on my face, right? Like, I don't want to be fucked with, right? But, you know what I'm saying? The industry I'm in, sometimes I can't keep that same vibe when I'm in public with people that love my shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But sometimes it's be, you know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. like, it's a, it's a learning, it's a learning curve at the end of the day, it's a learning curve, but I think I got, I got, I've gotten better. Mm -hmm. I got you don't better. be off-putting to your fans based on your mood. I yeah. get that. But sometimes you don't know who a fan and who not a fan yeah. though. You know what I'm saying? You can be just, you know what I'm saying, you can be anywhere and somebody run up on you and ask you, is you so-and-so? Why? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You still, yeah, you still got like, you know what I'm saying, street smart. So it's like, you can't just be gullible because you think who you, you know, everybody just love you. Like, mm -hmm. So it's like, I was always playing with that role. Like, who want to know? Like, what, yeah. you, what you about to do? Like, yeah. you know, but, you know, it is what it is. I like that. I like that. I need to work on that, actually. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Chosen One is one of my favorite songs on the album. That's hard. Yeah. It stands out as like a confident anthem. Mm -hmm. Can you share a reoccurring event in your life that kind of reminds you that you are chosen? Um, just recently, mm -hmm. um, my album going top 10 all genres independently, Come on you know now. what I'm saying? Um, that made me feel really like the chosen one as mm -hmm. far as just what I stand for. And, um, I did it out, out, out my pocket. I flew to London by myself, shot out the videos, did all the rollout for it. Um, I was out, out there two weeks. Um, I take this shit serious, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And when I put it out. I was kind of, I wasn't nervous, like all, all, all my guys, you know what I'm saying, the niggas I rock with, they love the project, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And when I got kind of their opinion, because they listen to a certain type of music, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What music is that? They 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 heavily like, in the streets and like, you know what I'm saying, the culture and like, you know, they not they don't care about other shit. Okay, you know mainstream. So, mainstream, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They want what's, they gonna ride to every day, so. Yeah. When I rec when I when we worked on that project and and I noticed it was taking heed to it, I was like, all right, cool. Mm -hmm. It's it's giving what I was trying to give. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> from my folks. Yeah, from my folks. Like <laughs> they like it, cool. We yeah. good. So when I put it out, you know, a lot of folks like when I sing a lot. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? A lot of folks like when I rap. Like it, I got a different like. It's like fifty fifty with my fans. Mm -hmm. They love when I sing. Some folks want me to rap a little more. So. When I rap too much, the girls like, I want you to sing. You know what I'm saying? But when I sing too much, my partner, 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when I say it to my partner, it's like, yeah, I fuck with it. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, it's that balance I be trying to keep, but putting this out, it worked out. You know what I'm saying? I put a, I put a good balance. Of, not, you did. Yeah, I put like two or three like little catchy melody songs in that, but for the most part, it's just like, me just popping shit mm -hmm. for real. I wasn't there singing now. I was yeah, in that car. Yeah. <laughs> I think I did well. You did, you did. Now, when it comes to being independent, like that's that's something that a lot of artists are extremely fearful of doing mm -hmm. because you now have to, like you said, fund yourself. Yeah. You don't necessarily have the support of a label backing you. For sure. So, what led you to even take that route? Um, all the trial, trial and error when I was with my label. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause I was, of course, you start off independent before you get signed. But it was not on the scale that I'm at now. But uh, for you know, I was signed to Interscopes for like since 2014. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's almost 19 years of being with mm -hmm. a label that you know in the beginning it started off great, and then for the last four or five years it was just like, what we doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So being in that like that little great area with the label and just like, what am I doing in music shit for? You right. know what I'm saying? Not getting compensated the way I need to. Uh, management falling apart. It was just too much confusion going on with that shit. So. Being independent was always like I can't wait to yeah. get out of this shit. You know, yeah. it was more just getting out of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Of course, when you, when you get out of deal, you're independent. You're like, right. Technically, <laughs> you feel me? So that that really, that really was my plan. And like the last three years, when I was with Interscope, I had it all plot, you know, written down on just how I was going. Ooh, 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 ooh. So now mm -hmm. I'm just going through the phases, and it's working out perfectly. It is. I I listened to you earlier talking. Um, in another interview, and you said that you're like a huge manifester. Yeah, for so sure. So you like write sure. out everything sure that I you do. have planned, which I think is like awesome. Do. People don't really talk about that, especially they men. Don't. That shit is important. It is. That shit is key. Niggas don't understand. That's they like the don't. secret. It's a secret formula. It is. It's like, well, go ahead. I'll let you finish. <laughs> no, go ahead. I'll go, go, go into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been doing that since I, I could say like 10 years old, like just setting goals and just vision boards and um just reading certain shit that just you know what I'm saying just increase my brain power and just I don't know it's like that's the only thing that keep me sane right. with this shit like I fuck around I go crazy dealing with all this shit and not having no like mental balance or just meditating or just calming down you know what I'm saying a little weed mm -hmm. you, little drink. <laughs> you feel me but mm -hmm. um it's key because one thing I get excited about like to start this year off before before 24 came you know what I'm saying uh well, 23, you know what I'm saying? You, you're right. Top of 23, you write everything that you're trying to accomplish. That you boom, 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 boom. I probably write like 15, 20 things. Right. I put shit on it. I know that's just off the wall, mm -hmm. but I'm going to shoot a shot at it. You know right. what I'm saying? And you write that down and you'll put it away. And I like to come back like a year later and just look at what I wrote and see how much shit I checked out. Right. And when I do that, it gave me the confidence like, oh, this shit is sweet. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. this, this shit ain't as hard as I thought it was going to be. So that's what keep me going. And a lot of shit I uh, put on my list last year, I think I checked off like everything but like two things. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Yeah. Now, how many things are on the list, would you say? It was like 15, 20 wow. things. And I check, I, I, I look back like December, like, like almost at the end of December, of my little, my agenda, and I'm like, damn, I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are two things that you wrote down this year that you're like, you're, you have to accomplish, like you're really big on accomplishing? Um, what did I write down this year? Um, I wrote in a lot of new shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. But in the shit that I didn't do last year, I just moved it to the new new thing. But I wanted to do. It's 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 not even it's not even really big to me no more because I know it's gonna happen. It was just really just doing a JB partnership with a major and just nice. license, licensing my music for like a year or two, and just you know distributing it through our own. Just really having full control, but having the, the big engine take care of it. Going number one, um, signing superstars, creating like artists under me that superstars, producers, you know what I'm saying? Just people that can pass me as far as like mm -hmm. what I accomplished, you know, this far. And um, of course, other business ventures. Um, fashion. Fashion, of course. You, you got know that what I'm saying? on lock. Yeah, I want, I want, I want to have a billion dollar fashion line. Mm -hmm. So, um, all that shit, I got so much shit. Pray more. Mm -hmm. Uh, a whole bunch of shit, man. I'm excited. Me too. I'm excited for you. Me too. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see at the end of the year when I ask you, like, what did you knock off that yeah, list? Yeah, I can't wait to. It's fun, man. Yeah, it it's is. hard work, though. It is. I ain't gonna see you like that shit's sweet, but <laughs> it's, it's sweet when you locked in, but that shit is a, it's a, it's a lot of work. You gotta really, like, discipline yourself. That Absolutely. shit comes with a lot of discipline because 
it's so easy to get distracted. I get distracted every day. Yeah. And I look up like, what is you doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, get yeah. right. You feel me? It happens, but mm-hmm. it's a rewarding experience. We're yeah, going to stay is. focused on discipline this year. <laughs> stay focused. In your album, you shout out Mama Camp, Shauna and Shauna. Yeah, that's my dog. She's a comment when I was in the bathroom, wrapping right. my legs. <laughs> what she said, bro? She, I just, I'm thinking she needed something. She said, what she said? <laughs> She rap, uh, she's rapping uh, the song I got with Hancho. She said, I feel all alone, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I was like, hell nah, you funny as hell. That is so cute. Yeah. Like, I love that you shouted her out. You know, moms, yeah. superheroes, literally. Yeah. Uh, what life it, life lessons do you feel like you've learned from her and how has she kept you grounded? Um, A lot, actually. Me and my mom got a crazy relationship. Uh, uh, we be hot and cold. We both alphas. My mom mm-hmm. bull, I'm a bull. Well, she ain't technically a bull, but she don't play no games and I don't play mm-hmm. no games either. So, um, she was my booking agent at one point. Wow. She was my manager at one point. Oh wow. She had to handle my finances at one point, and um, it came a time where I didn't know shit about nothing. Mm-hmm. Like, no big. I ain't know nothing. Mm-hmm. I depended on her to do everything. And I felt lost. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know what the hell was going on. I didn't know how to how to, to work a credit. I didn't know how to work a credit card. I didn't know shit. About she was doing everything. It. She was doing everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, it got to a point in my career I was I just had to take that leap of faith and um, you know what I'm saying, just remove her from the situation and just her to become a mama instead of a business partner because that shit kind of became it's like it was yeah, bumping heads. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I just tried to like end that before it became like a toxic relationship between me and mom when it came like just the money, just the business, you know what I'm saying? Cause mm-hmm. don't nobody want to fall out with their mom about no not. fucking music or no, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was one of them times I had to, I had to fire, I had to get rid of my mama, let her go, I ain't fire, <laughs> I had to let her go. Mama, he didn't, he didn't fire. You know, you know where we at, we good, we good. But now I had to let her go and we got, we, we was beefing. Wow, we was beefing really? Shit, shit was she stopped deal. talking to you for a little we bit? We was beefing. Her, her friend had to call me while I was in Vegas and she knew what the hell was going on. She tried to like be the uh, mediator between the shit and we had to all sit down like one of them uh, interventions. <laughs> there was a lot of yelling. Oh, really? A lot of tears. Oh my god! It got real. How did y'all get past it? That day. Wow. Everything we had a problem with. Okay. Everything. Y'all hashed it out right then. <laughs> crazy. It's a lot of emotion going on in that room. <laughs> but um. Wow. That's the type of relationship we got. Mm-hmm. And now we cool as ever, you know what I'm saying? Like, she know that I handle my business. Yeah. She proud of me because I turned this shit back up and I told her I was. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, we cool. I love that. He kept his word, Ma. I kept my word. <laughs> I'm sending her on, on Cancun. Well, she want to go to Cancun in April. Already booked her. You know, she going to her friends. Took care of her. You know, okay. I did shit like that. Oh, that's sweet. She sent her some flowers yeah. the other day. Paid her rent off for like four or five months oh, like a couple sweet. months ago. Oh, you want her over. She's fine. Yeah, she's good. <laughs> She's good. I love that. She's now, good. can you share the concept behind Flow to London? I feel like that's different. I know you kind of go AKA Flow. Uh huh. Um, so, what really inspired you to go to London? Your fan base is crazy over there, by the way. I need to get it bigger, though. Yeah. I was walking around in the mall, nobody knew me. But I was in a real, like, white area. Like, okay. There wasn't no niggas there. Well, okay. not niggas, but you know what I mean. You know us. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah they wasn't there. But <laughs> I was walking around, that bitch just freely just <laughs> head up. Nobody said shit. I was like, I called my partner, I was like, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, bro. Like, <laughs> you're like shit. But I felt good. You know, right, you were free. <laughs> but I got to turn it up a little. I do got fans out there, though. I don't want to get a twist. I got fans, but I need to turn it up a little more. Okay, okay. Yeah. We're going to do that. What inspired you to create the name Float to London? What was that about? Um, It was easy. Of course, I go by Float. Mm-hmm. Um, I produce a name, Trapping in London. Mm. Um, I just get creative when it comes to my titles, you know what I'm saying? All my album titles, I always think of a name that just match that mood. Mm-hmm. And I did a project with London, so I just mm-hmm. said, Float to London. I and I wanted to shoot the, the, the content in London just to um, keep that value up mm-hmm. as far as independent. I ain't want nobody looking at my shit like, oh, this nigga independent now. He shooting the videos in front of the whips. <laughs> all, right. All, all the videos Basic in the shit. studio, yeah. you know what I'm saying? With a little, little BBL bitch in the back. <laughs> nah, I had, to keep that, I had to keep that shit lit, so. I um, it. I took it to London. Mm-hmm. I just took that chance, you know what I'm saying? And shout out Apollo Films. Yeah, I did what I had to do. Mm-hmm. You know, we shot for like three, four days. It was quick. It was fun. It was cold, but you know, we got it done. I love it. I love it. The it people done. are enjoying the album. Like you said, top yeah, ten. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That's yeah, huge. Good. Now, the transparency in your music is something that people really love about you. Your fans always talk about your transparency. Mm-hmm. What has been the most significant challenge you faced in your music career? Um, the biggest challenge is. T- turning this shit back up from the, mm-hmm. from when everybody gave up on. Yeah. 
you know. Um, that was tough. That was just, you know what I'm saying, getting online every day, seeing what folks had to say about me, knowing what I had going on, knowing what we had going on internally. But it's hard to change somebody's uh, opinion on you once they got it set in their mind. Right, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it was like extra hard on us to, and, and myself to get in the booth and keep going, mm-hmm. keep speaking, keep, you know what I'm saying, putting all of me in this, in this music. And, you know what I'm saying, I, I don't care about outside opinion, but, and a nigga be lying if he say, yeah. I was just about to say you know that. Saying? A nigga be you lying. You be lying because you care you a little care, bit. You it care, you care. It might not like, be a lot, but you care. I used to care more back then. Yeah. I don't care as much now because mm-hmm. I know who I am, you know what I'm saying, 10 times more and I, and, I, and I stand on what I stand on. And if you like it, you like it, you don't. Right. I, you know what I'm That's saying? But back then, she had me in my feelings a little <laughs> bit. I ain't going to lie. And it was just that battle, you know what I'm saying? It, it took like two or three years, you know what I'm saying? But at, at the same time, we were still like torn. I was I was growing my fan base. I was doing all the shit that, you know what I'm saying, uh an artist is supposed to do on the back end. Um, learning about the game, learning what the majors was doing, me and Genius in the in the in the studio for hours, just figuring out all this shit out, but just trying to prove that I'm still doing what I'm doing on right, a high right, level, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. So I think that was the most difficult part and uh not getting paid for like two and a half years. That's tough. Not getting paid, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, fighting with my label, trying to get some straightening and Having to deal with my old production team, my management that was middle cutting everything, and it was just, it was a lot going on. So dealing with that at a young age, not knowing the game for real, and all that shit getting thrown away at once, and still got to make the music, and still trying to get your, your, your bills paid. Not, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. It was a lot of shit going on. People saying I feel off. I'm boom boom. I'm like damn, did I? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you question yourself. It's, it's a mental. It's a mental fuck at the mm-hmm. end of the day. So dealing with that in person, plus I had personal shit going on my. You know, a lot of people, that's why I got this heart on my face. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people close to me was dying. Like, I lost my daughter, my grandma, my cousin. That's like my older brother. Like, it was a lot of shit going on. But I kept my faith. You wow. know what I'm saying? I kept wow. my faith. I kept God first. And I always said, shit, they going to see. Yeah. They going to see. They going to see. It's going to pay out. You feel me? So now we're here. I love that. And they seeing. And they seeing. Of course. <laughs> they got to see it. I love it. They got to see it. You talk a lot about your faith. Um, that's something that's really inspiring. And I'm also seeing now that's kind of like a trend that some artists are hopping on. Before, I would say maybe a couple of years ago, people weren't as transparent about mm-hmm. their religion or mm-hmm. their faith when it came to putting in their music or talking about it in interviews. Yeah. What do you think has been the change that has led people to be more vocal about it now? Um, I can't speak for everybody else. Mm-hmm. I can only speak for myself. Mm-hmm. Just... um going through them, them them dark tunnels and just praying that, you know what I'm saying, it's a light at the end, just, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, and I like to, I don't just pray when shit going good. You know what I'm saying? I pray when it's bad, you know what I'm saying? I pray, I pray through all, all levels of it. I don't want it to be like, when everything lit, like, thank you God, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Of course you, you, you happy and you fulfilled, but at the same time, like you gotta just, you gotta balance it out. Yeah. You gotta balance it out. And I'm not, I'm not religious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not a Christian. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? My dad a Muslim, but he tried to convert me when I was young, but man, I don't know what happened. But, um, you know, I believe in God. I'm spiritual, you know what I'm saying? I believe in myself. Mm-hmm. Um, I just move on a higher frequency than others because I just, I'm tapped in with myself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We all guys and goddesses at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We all tap into some type of, you know what I'm saying, element. So, you know, that's how I live my life. I can see that. You yeah. give that you give that, that ambiance. Yeah. For sure. Or yeah. you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah, sure. <laughs> He's like, I know. Mm-hmm. I know that's what I give. <laughs> I practice it. <laughs> now, let's get into K Camp, because you know, you have a bit of mystery going on, you know, mm-hmm. people are curious about who you are. You're you're reserved. I love it. I love yeah, it. you you like you want it to stay that way. Yep. Yeah, we gonna we gonna talk about it a little bit. Let's do it. <laughs> they gonna learn you a little bit. Let's do it. What's a common misconception people have about you? Um, common misconception that people have about me. I don't think people know you're funny. I'm funny as hell. You're funny as hell. I talk a lot of shit. <laughs> I'm funny and I talk a lot of shit and I'm slick a bully. I've been a bully for a long time, <laughs> but I've been trying to be cool. Like, I'm, yeah, yeah. Bully how? You had a, something just went in your mind. <laughs> a lot of shit that I be doing. I be just doing just shit. But uh, they probably don't know that about me. I'm um, cool. Um, of course, they know cool. I, mm-hmm. I remain calm and cool all the time. Right. Uh, I don't know. Shit. Class clown. Yeah. I always got in trouble. I, you know what I'm saying? I always was an ISS guy. 
I don't know. It was bad. <laughs> bad as hell. I don't fucking know. Shit. He gives off mysterious guys, but he really a clown. I'm fun. I'm fun. I'm fun. I'm fun in real life. You know what I'm saying? I'm lit in real life. In real life. Yeah. Now, your vibe suggests that you're a bit of a lover boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> sometimes, yeah. sometimes. Yeah, yeah, when I'm in that mode. Okay. Yeah, when I'm in that mode, for sure. <laughs> what qualities does a woman need to have to be the one for K-Camp? She got to smell good. Mm-hmm. She got to, you know what I'm saying, feel smooth, nice and buttery <laughs> and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but nah, she had to have a good head on her shoulders, you mm-hmm. know, um, have some business by herself. Mm-hmm. Um, family oriented, know how to take care of man, know how to take care of herself. Um, fun, I don't like boring. Boring is like... What are you doing? Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't like that shit. Mm-hmm. I don't like that shit. I like to just be adventurous and just do like, just, it don't matter what it is. It can just be riding bikes. It can be doing anything. Like, let's do something. You know what I'm saying? Of course, niggas get tired and want to just chill a little bit. But, like, right. not for like four, five, six months. Oh. Just, no, <laughs> in no, the house. It, no. no, 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 no. I'm looking at you different. Mm-hmm. Um, but, no, I just, you know, I think quality is every man one out of woman. I like a little attitude. I like a little spice. I don't like to be. I like a woman who don't take no shit. Like, if I say something, like, feel say something bad. Like, okay, well, that's different because niggas don't. You feel me? Not, yeah. not too crazy. Like, <laughs> not every day. Like, <laughs> To, nah, I ain't going for none of that shit. Like, don't let me just <laughs> all yeah, the time. Like, yeah. say something back. Like, don't be no, yeah. don't be no puss. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing. But nah, that about it. Okay, ladies, now you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> shoot your shot. No, um, not everybody. <laughs> don't shoot your shot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Quality <laughs> woman only. Yeah, y'all be shooting too many shots. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's been the craziest DM you think you've gotten from a woman? I got a lot of them. I got some real stalkers out there. They probably Oof. gonna watch this, and this shit's scary. Uh, I got real deal stalkers. <laughs> real deal. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I don't I'm know. I'm so curious. How, Man, like, I don't how wanna do get you know into that. that no, it's real. Hey. How do you know that they're, stalk- they're stalking you? Uh, Are they bullet, showing you? I had a bullet hole in my, um, my car New Year's. They popped up at one of my college events I did, like a seminar. Popped up, popped up at one of my Halloween parties. Um, popped up at a mental health conference I did in Atlanta one time, like on some real like. Like the same person. Popped up at my concert, had got locked up, had get sent to jail. Same person. Oh, so you know who it is? Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. And I got, I think I got a new, I think I got a new one. It might be her niece. Oh my god. I don't know. It's somebody that's that been in my DM the last couple of days, like talking to themselves, like really like talking crazy. I don't know, man. People is crazy. Okay. They're crazy. Noted. Um, <laughs> like crazy. Don't shoot DMs if you're crazy. Please. Oh my God. He already got enough stalkers. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um, now, the niggas went up for Spin the Block. Yeah. The ladies did too. Mm-hmm. I feel like because it's, it, it's a kind of in your feeling song, but you kind of mm-hmm. made it like. Player. Yeah, mm-hmm. you 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 made it masculine. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure, so sure, like, sure, sure. I'm in my feelings with all my niggas, so I, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, sure. So are there a couple of women you'll spend the block on, or just one? Yeah, I got mm-hmm. a couple of them, mm-hmm. but I, I tend to find out it don't work. Why? I don't know. Cause like, say you meet somebody right mm-hmm. at a certain time in their life, or just a uh, period, right? And you fuck with that person. Some years go by. You might see them again, or they might just pop up on your gram, you know, Instagram. Yeah. They might just poop, like, oh, it's happening. <laughs> but um, then you try to, you know what I'm saying, try to, it ain't the same sometimes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It, it, ain't, it ain't the vibe, because you're expecting one thing. They might not be expecting what you're expecting, or they expecting one thing. They, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. There was this one chick I had. Uh, this is like 2015, 16, when I, when I lived in L.A., you know what I'm saying? Really like this girl. Flew out to LA. She was with me for a little minute. You know what I'm saying? We had fell out on New Year's. I had a New Year's Eve party at my crib. What well, she did? And how y'all fell out? She went out with her friends. That night. she went out with her friends and came to the party, but they had took something. <laughs> I didn't put a bit in that. <laughs> they took something, so they all would just party out. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And we had a party at the house, and um. It was one random chick that was in the party that was just, she got too drunk, you know what I'm saying? Her friends had, it was a, it was a whole situation. Her friends left this girl in my crib. You know oh. what I'm saying? That shit had me so fucking mad that oh, night. I that. You feel me? Like, you gonna leave your drunk friend in somebody else, you That's know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, this girl, 
running into my dog cage, throwing up, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know who she is. I'm right. like, bro, who <laughs> does she belong to? Like, who, who, you know what I'm saying? I'm mad. Like, somebody get this. Who, who, who girl is this? <laughs> Come to find out, you know what I'm saying? It was somebody who left her. Mm -hmm. So I was pissed, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to figure out where to put this. You're like, put her on the couch. Like, she right. fucking the vibe. Right. Everybody's just like, you know what I'm saying? She knocking niggas <laughs> over, grabbing niggas. Like, she doing two. I'm so mad, bro. And oh, the girl I was talking to at that time, she was geeked up. Mm -hmm. So she, I don't know, she was extra emotional that day. Mm -hmm. She's like, why are you acting like that, George? Why you about She's trying to defend her. I'm like, I'm not, I'm just saying, like, right. somebody got to get her, bro. Like, <laughs> it can be a lot. Like, you don't never, you don't never know what my head, like, she got to go. Right. So she now, a liability I mean, at this point. a big liability. Mm -hmm. So now, the girl that I was, you know what I'm saying, we, mm -hmm. we arguing about this. this I'm like, <laughs> This is random. So it turned into a whole argument. And I was like, man, you can get your shit. I'm snapping on her now. It was just, it was one of them things. Oh, it's kind of like, this random chick yeah. bumped up my vibe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would never forget that girl for that. Damn. But um, long story short, um, and I had the girl I'm talking about, I had mm -hmm. helped her start like her little nail business and all type of shit. I was oh, wow. with her. You know what I'm saying? So we fell out. Mm -hmm. She ended up getting with some nigga. They was together for like two, three years. I seen I was like, ah, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then she randomly popped up. On my pay, like probably like five years later, five six years later, and I was like, oh, then we you know what I'm saying on the phone. Uh, it just wasn't that insane. no more. You know what I'm saying? I was mm -hmm. like, uh, I just gave up on it. Damn. So that's why I made. Like, okay. Shit don't be the same. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. It'd be like that sometimes. You yeah. leave it in the past. Yeah, it the was past. what it was. Yeah. You learn from it, move on. Like, that was a stupid reason to stop talking though. I would've been mad. Man, I just wish she never took that shit that night. Maybe yeah. she would've been. We'd've been in a better spot. She yeah. geeked up. <laughs> Yeah, her feeling. Whatever she was on, had her in her Yeah, my girl couldn't do it. Yeah. Now, walk us through a typical day with K Camp. When you're mm -hmm. not on tour, you're not in the studio creating music. A typical day? Um, well, I wake up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Of course, brush my teeth, do all that. Maybe some hot tea. Okay. Yeah. But I'm on bank here. I'm working out. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Boom, I get back to the crib. I just... uh. I can smoke again. My doctor told me I, could, I couldn't smoke for like, I didn't smoke for like two months. So now, ah, I can smoke again. <laughs> so I'm having to jump on, blowing down, mm -hmm. uh, get some work done. You know what I'm saying? Calls, meetings, you know what I'm saying? Talking to the team, make sure everything going smooth. Um, and depending how I'm vibe, I might go to the office, work on some clothes, or I'm in the studio. Or I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm out of town. Okay, yeah. I just be trying to handle business for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just chill later, watching Netflix, chilling, okay. vibing, you know. You standing on business this year. Yeah, for sure. I love that. Too. So you recently underwent throat surgery. Mm -hmm. You're saying you can smoke now. It's been two months. Yeah. What led to the straining of the vocal cords? Like, how did that happen? Um, my doctor said, or well, my vocal coach that I was dealing with at the time, because mm -hmm. I did two tours this year. Yeah. I did two tours, um, back to back actually. Yeah. Like fifty some dates, back to back. Um. Working on the albums, floats in London, all that, in the studio every day, yelling, smoking, drinking, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, they just really told me, like, all that just played a toll on my, on my vocal cord. I just overused them, over just worked them. And it was like an um, inflammation. I had like a thing called a polyp on my throat. Mm -hmm. And it was so crazy because it came out of nowhere. You know, on tour and shit, I was good. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I ain't feel no problem. You know what I'm saying? Of course, your voice be gone some nights. But um, when I got off tour, and I was recording, and I was in the studio, I thought it was just because the uh, pollen. Mm. It was allergy season, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got bad, yeah, I got bad allergies, so I was like, man, this shit fucking me up. Like, yeah. allergies <laughs> fucking me up. I'm in the studio, like, and it's so crazy, because some songs be rap, what chosen one, chosen one raspy. If you listen to it, yeah. like, my voice raspy as hell. Mm -hmm. I just went and um, he showed me like a video of my vocals, and mm -hmm. it healed up perfectly, so. Perfect. I'm good to go, he cleared me to, to perform. But I was already recording and doing shit I wasn't supposed to. I was taking care of myself. The first, when I got the surgery, I didn't talk for a week. Mm -hmm. But as soon as that week was up, I, I got back in the studio. Okay. But I didn't really tell him I was recording. I told the vocal coach, like, oh, I ain't doing that. I'm You're just right. chilling, but I was recording. But, and it worked out. Don't, don't mess yourself up now. I'm good. You're trying, trying, trying to get too busy. I'm clear. Okay, as long as you're good. Mm -hmm. So I have a question about friendship. I know you talk about your partners a lot. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like along the way of success that some of your friends fell by the wayside or is basically everyone you were friends with before you're still friends with now? I just recently had a fallout one of my day ones. Mm. Yeah. So to answer your question, yes. Damn. Yes. I can see it all over your face. You yeah. don't you didn't like that. I didn't. Yeah. That's Disappointed. 
this point. Who was it? You were or them? Yeah. Mm. We ain't gonna get into it okay. though. Okay, that's nice. It's still fresh. It's fresh as hell. I can see. I can mm -hmm. see all over your face. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, you are. Who are some of the new school or old school artists that you're that currently catch your attention right now? Uh, that catch my attention. Mm hmm. Mm. That's a hard question. I like the, I like the, a lot of shit I was listening to in Europe. Really? Yeah. Like? Um, I I don't want to fuck up their names. Okay. Like I don't I I got they're black. Name. Yeah, black. Mm -hmm. Um, like Afro Emma uh, Emma piano type vibes. Oh, vibe. okay. Shit like that. Like that's they real big on that out there. Yeah, you they know are. What I'm saying? I was listening to a lot of artists I never heard of that was actually dope as hell. Mm -hmm. And that inspired me to um, I'm actually working on one right now. Nice. A EP. You know, but um, as far as the states. Ain't nothing really popping his head out like that. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you got niggas that's riding, they got been bumping like the future stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I fuck with Honcho. Everybody I put on my project, I, I fuck with. Yeah. Um, but ain't nothing just. Yeah. You're not vibing with nothing like that. I ain't like really that. vibing with nothing like that. I ain't heard nothing Friday. Okay. When his album yeah, came yeah. out, I sent him a text. Hard. Yeah. Like, shit, like when I hear music like that, mm -hmm. that's when I get excited. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure when Kanye drop, he gonna drop something that feel like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I like shit that be put together well. Like mm -hmm. You can tell somebody to their time with it, but a lot of artists just throwing shit out. You know, some I shit mean. be cool, catchy. I love, I love music. Like even if it ain't, you know what I'm saying? But when I get excited about music, like mm -hmm. this shit hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let us know the next time that happens. I want to know. Yeah, I want. I want to hear what you feel about the next the next couple of people that are dropping yeah. albums. Things drop all the time. Yeah, but I'm not <laughs> feeling them either. I'm not gonna lie. Like I was just talking about that the other day. I'm like, there's not. I, I'm really not feeling too many albums. Yours, I said to so many people because I'm just like, it's a vibe. Yeah. Like, Cut to one time with it. You did, and it, you can tell. Mm -hmm. And just like Friday, you can tell he took his time mm -hmm. with the album. Like exactly. it's a work of art. Yours it's is a work. work of art. Yeah, thank you. And I feel like we're looking for more work of art, and a lot of other artists are probably looking for more chart. Chart. Yeah, They're trying to chart. They're trying to get a single and just get a quick look. Yeah, but it's not about that. Like yeah, where, hey. where is the actual artistry happening? Ain't nobody doing it. But yeah. that's why. That's why I'm not really like picking his head out right now. It, um, I'm pretty sure it's somebody in that in that basement in that, in that <laughs> closet right now. Right, right. Cooking, cooking Putting their heart shit. in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, we hear a song, but right now it just right wave shit. I like. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You can tell who just who just yeah. you know, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. We gonna see. Yeah, we gonna we see. We gonna see. Last question: What would you tell your 15 year old self? What would I tell my 15 year old self? Um, I would say don't give up, but he didn't. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> He's here. Um, I would say um, cherish the moments, live in the moment. Mm -hmm. Stop moving too fast. Um, spend more time with your family. Um, uh, I don't know, just read more okay um learn more mm -hmm. I always be a sponge back then i ain't give i ain't care about nothing like i ain't work nah, i was hard-headed as hell mm -hmm. but um just cherish moment man live every day like it's your last you know what i'm saying just be in the moment be present I love that. you know what i'm saying because you never know what the what what, what tomorrow my brain this, mm -hmm. shit, this shit get wicked it man. does this yeah. shit get wicked so mm -hmm. i just tell my younger self just be you don't change mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can take other people's opinion, but go with your heart first. Go with your gut. I love good. that. I yeah. love that. Yeah. We forget that sometimes. For sure. We're influenced by so many different things. Man. Your for family, longest, social media. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody you can forget steal your you gut. Wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's real. Everybody can steal you wrong. Even people that love you. Absolutely. They might put you. You know, mm -hmm. they might throw you off. Had you doing some shit that you don't want to be doing mm -hmm. because you think it's real because they love you, but right. that shit might be good for you. Yeah. And everybody put their own insecurities on you sometimes. Too. Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. Good word. I'm going to take it for myself. Yeah. All right. That's a wrap, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, K-Camp. Follow her. Let's do it.